Hello, Coach Reggie here, um, business scorers, action coach, scaling up. Um, wanted to, uh, you know, of course, those of you that don't know me, um, we grow businesses and business owners, help them navigate the complex waters of building and growing their business. So, um, and one of the things that has come up as a big central theme um, out in the business community, we've done a couple of events, uh, most recently a business roundtable, and we talked about the top constraints that exist in business and how to um, grow through them. And of course, the common theme uh, that came up overwhelmingly from all different sectors of business is how, um, you know, is people acquisition, being able to find good people, being able to um, you know, hire them and keep them. So, uh, you know, a lot of issues with, I just can't get good people to apply or, you know, we lose them to, you know, other opportunities uh, or, you know, we're losing people uh, to other businesses. So uh, the people side of the business, um, you know, uh, recruiting, hiring, screening, uh, retaining, uh, and selling them to take your job, uh, big issue. So one of the things I went and did is um, interviewed a handful of business owners I've worked with. Now, just you know, keep in mind that uh, while this has become much more of an epidemic in across the uh, you know wider spread business community and different sectors, you know, more widespread business sectors, hiring's become more of an issue. When it wasn't really an issue, maybe pre-pandemic, three or four years ago, but it has for seventeen years that I've operated a business um, coaching and growing practice. Uh, it has always been an issue because as we grow businesses. You know, there's, you know, they they suck up people. They need people, right? They're a huge, they're huge people because you can't grow a great business without great people. So we generally have two issues. Um, issue number one, they may not have enough people to start with. As they begin to grow, they need more people because a bigger business may need more people. And the other issue is the people that you have may not be the ones that you need. Uh, they may not grow with the business as well, or maybe they didn't belong there to start with. Um, some of the ones that maybe be belonged in the business at a lower level don't belong at the higher level. So for the 17 years been in practice, I've really been focused on helping business owners, um, you know, be really, really good at the hiring piece. Right. And when the pandemic came, they, um, you know, they were really prepared because they've been kind of in shape for this a lot. And even new clients come on board. We've had, to, uh, we were really pretty quickly able to help um, kind of fix some of their talent acquisition issues. So thought I'd share with you and, and we're going to do this in a couple of ways. Um, I've got, I've interviewed three different owners that have really done some um, things that are, um, you know, different than most business owners when it comes to hiring. They've had some great success. Uh, they've done some, uh, they worked hard, they've uh, got their knowledge up, they've done some really smart things. So I thought you would um, enjoy learning directly from them. I would pay attention to some, um, a handful of themes that you may see that exist. And some of those, um, you know, themes are that, um, you know, notice how they increase their knowledge in the um, area of, uh, you know, recruiting, attracting, screening, and, um, you know, bringing talent on board, actually, you know, hiring them and retaining them. So one of the things they realized first up or things I recognized and pointed out to them is they really lacked a lot in the form of knowledge on how to be a good hirer. Most business owners um, aren't, uh, they're not trained in, um, you know, scouting for talent, attracting talent, screening talent, all the things that HR professionals studied and are experts at, they're going against those kind of people for top talent. And as the labor market has tightened up, um, you know, it's become much more scarce. So, you know, you've got to be really, really good at knowing how to, uh, you know, to be able to attract, uh, to be able to put great bait out there for great candidates, and then be able to sort through those and screen them how to make sure you sell them on coming on board and then how do you keep them once you're there? So um, they've increased their knowledge base. A couple of, um, you know, resources that I highly recommend increase knowledge base. Um, the book who has become a um, huge piece of our, I call it a, a hymnal um, in our uh, business, you know, growing arsenal. Um, and it's something that we use a lot, a book by Jeffrey Smart, uh, the book who, and highly recommend that. It's a great field guide for being able to, um, you know, attract, 
screen for, know what you're looking for, first of all. Um, and then once you know who you're looking for, then be able to, uh, you know, attract screen interview effectively to make sure you got the right person and then keep the right person. So I can't recommend this highly enough. And then also uh, the Action Coach uh, book uh, written by Bradley Sugars, the founder of Action Coach, instant team building uh, for more uh, garden variety positions and more common positions like administrative assistants, ones that you would have a larger uh, volume of applicants. Uh, the Action Coach system is a great way to uh, you know, work through a pretty high volume of candidates in a pretty quick time frame. So whatever, what methodology you would use, whether you'd focus on a little more of the who, who uh, methodologies or the action coach, um, you know, team building system or, or hiring process uh, systems really depends on the position. If you're not sure on that, reach out to me and I can kind of tell you which one will make sense. And sometimes we use a hybrid of both. Um, the action coach hiring system and the human methodologies, uh, depending on the situation. So yeah, I'd learn them both and then, you know, do what makes sense. But um, instant team building, something you can pick up. The This is an old version of it. If you've got any of my old action coach uh, colleagues around that see this, they'll crack up on the old version of instant team building. But um, this is the, and you'll, you'll, if you go on Amazon and buy it or Kindle, it'll look a little different, but the title's still the same, instant team building. So two places to get some knowledge. Um, you can't ever learn enough when it comes to hiring because it's such a critical component of your business. It's one of the big four. People, uh, having the right people, is one of the big four in your business. All right, other th thing that we turned up was marketing. Um, you know, marketing effectively. Most business owners, their strength is not marketing. Their strengths lie in other areas. Only about 20% of the business owners I run across are really, really strong at marketing. They really understand it, get it, know how to do it effectively. Um, so. And, and really direct response marketing too. Like how do we, um, how do we invoke response? So it's often something I have to teach owners from a uh, philosophical uh, methodology perspective on how to do that. So um, you'll hear some things in these, uh, you know, casting a wide net. So that means, you know, having not just I posted an ad on Indeed kind of strategy, but a wide range of marketing strategies, right? Um, use better bait is the other um you know, thing that's key to marketing is if you're going to attract a superstar, uh, a rock star candidate, you got to use rock star bait. And so many owners aren't using rock star bait. Um, so make sure that you know, listen in for those little distinctions on how they're uh, using better bait. <clears throat> the principles of marketing are in play. Listen for those in some of the things they, they talk about, which is one of the principles of marketing is target offer copy. Right. If you're going to have a good marketing campaign, you got to first start with your target. Who's your ideal candidate? Who's your ideal employee? If you were to build a bionic employee, if you were to describe a rock star employee, what are you after? And most importantly, what are they after? Like, what do they want? So, next step is offer. What kind of offers would a rock star candidate, what do they want in a job? Right. What kind of money? are they looking for? And if you're going to, again, attract a rock star candidate, um, candidate, you have to advertise rock star money. And I wouldn't talk specifically about the money you're going to pay them day one. I would also advertise and market what the potential of the position is if they prove themselves to be a rock star after the honeymoon's over three, six months down the road. If they're a top performer, then advertise that kind of money um, as, you know, what the income level is for the position. Um, what else do they want? You know, what matters to them? Um, and that's good marketing is what matters to the prospect. Also, what are the fears, frustrations, concerns of the marketplace, um, of the, you know, job candidate pool? What do they want? What are your strategic advantages that you have over the competitive landscape? So, you know, as we have started to talk about those kind of things in the ads, or as these business owners start to think, you know, talk about these kind of things in the ads, what's happened is they have attracted much higher caliber candidates. So um, the uh, screening, you'll hear some things on screening, you know, don't waste time. Make sure you find ways not to waste time with tepid or uninterested candidates, candidates that aren't that engaged. And a lot of business owners get tied up with reading resumes and get shot to them on Indeed that um, and it's real easy. The problem with resumes, like sorting and screening through just resumes only, is that today it's real easy to get, you know, used to used to be work for employers to get a resume. Like 
for a, a candidate to send a, a, an employer resume. It used to be work. That's why it's a thing because employers wanted you to work for the application. The um, but now it's really easy, right? The job boards they advertise right? in the Indeeds and the um, you know ZipRecruiters, those kind of things. One of the things they sell is we'll get you resumes, we'll get you resumes, we'll get you candidates. I don't want a high volume of candidates. I don't want quantity of candidates. I want quality candidates that um, that have taken some effort and energy to actually apply. So there's some ways to screen candidates. Uh, one of the traditional ways in the um, you know action coach system in the instant T building is to call a, a voicemail. You hear some people you know talk about calling in to apply for the job, um, and that means we set up a virtual voicemail and, and to apply. You know, we just put in the ad, um, hey, call to apply. Um, and they climb, and they answer a few questions, but it, it makes them do some work. Or if they apply online, then we just hit a reply back to say, hey, congratulations, you made it to the next step. Um, call to, you know, to make take the next step in the application process, call um, and, you know, answer a few questions um, on this phone number. Sometimes there's some work to do. You have to watch a video that talks a little bit about the position of the company. Um, but giving people a hump, to jump over a hit, you know, kind of a step to jump over so that you separate the curious candidates or just the people that are just hitting buttons, wasting your time and moving them to, um, you know, to actually having to do something. So you're spending your time, the limited amount of time you have juggling all the balls you have as a business owner, really dealing with sorting through the candidates that are most interested. So, um, listening for that, the, uh, Sell the job is the other piece, right? Uh, sell the job. Oh, by the way, on the um, on the screening piece, you know, you can have them call a voicemail. If that didn't work, one of the things that also works is, you know, on the job boards, there's some, um, you know, potential tests they have to take or questions they have to answer. But, you know, no matter what it is, uh, make them do something beyond just hit a button and send a resume. Make them do some work. Make them send an email, answer two or three questions into you to apply um, to, before you even even spend any time looking at the resume. And that'll sort out um, you trying to decide what are good candidates and bad candidates um, based on resumes are often full of misinformation and um, polishing the apple uh, in regards to how good a candidate is. So uh, make sure that you're, focused on, um, you know, the candidates that are really interested uh, and care enough to take a little extra step to apply to your job and not just hit and send, 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 send. I just applied for, you know, five jobs. Good on me. Um, so, and I just put five business owners to work for five to 10 minutes looking at my resume. So um, you don't have to deal with that. Make them take the step. Um, and they, and if you've sold the job well and marketed it well, um, then, um, they would be more willing to do that. The higher level candidates are willing to do that. Um, and then the, the uh, last thing I would uh, encourage you to do is sell the job all the way throughout. And I don't think a lot of the owners talked about that. We were really talking about driving volume and getting more people interested and getting better candidates. But um, one of the things that you'll find in uh, the book, Who, is, is how critical it is to sell the position all the way through the process um, and not just at the end. Right. So make sure you're all the way weaving the process, selling the job, using the five F's and the five F's are in the book, who, which is fit, fortune, family, fun and future. Those are the five F's. Now, what do those five F's uh, mean? Coach? Yep. Go buy the book. Read the book. Uh, the uh, Svable, Kindle, Amazon buy them online for a couple bucks, right? Uh, used, you can buy them for three or four bucks online used. Um, the, so, um, you know, so those are some things to really key into. And, you know, and so in, if you're in your business, you know, we need some help and guidance on how to fix the number one constraint that exists in so many business, maybe yours, if it, um, if, if getting the right kind of people, enough people, or you're being kind of drugged down by, having some mediocrity on your team um, there are, and you're just kind of out of answers on how to get rock stars. We help business owners do it all the time by providing them knowledge, support, guidance um, to be able to help them 
what you're going to, what you're seeing is some business owners that have engaged us to do that and have, you know, as a result, have ended up with some of the best hires they've ever had. So um, been doing it for a long time. Love to help you do it as well. So um, feel free to reach out, out to us if we can help. And on top of that, hope you can learn a few things from um, these uh, business owners that, um, you know, we'll share through this um, little bit of series of um, finding great people. So um, anyway, got any questions? Don't hesitate to reach out. Happy learning. Uh, hope to talk to you soon.